Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a little interlude video where I show you how I go about creating a very simple hand armature. This works well in all scales and it's super simple. There is a lot of measuring from the model to get all the elements in the right place and with correct proportion and that was edited out so keep that in mind. I start off by cutting down the armature inside my arm or inside the sculpture's arm rather so that it reaches about halfway up or down the lower arm. Then I cut 5 equal lengths of armature wire, long enough so that they can become the upper or lower half of the lower arm and they'll become the hand and the fingers as well. The armature that make up the arms is 3 8 inch or 9.5 mm square aluminum armature wire and the hand armature is made up of 3 16 inch or 4.7 mm square aluminum armature wire. I prefer square armature wire and a thinner round wire for wrapping. Somehow it feels like the square wire holds the clay better, though I'm not. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. I stick the five pieces of wire into the clay of the arm just to hold them in place while I attach them with zip ties. You could also use a hose clamp and that would probably be even sturdier, but this will be more than sturdy enough for what I'm trying to do. The scale of your sculpture will dictate to a certain degree what materials you can use. In a very small scale, a hose clamp might be too big. Perhaps even a zip tie might be too big and you'll have to rely solely on wrapping wire. But for really large scale work or extra big hands or something like this, a hose clamp is probably the best option. In addition to the zip ties, I wrap the pieces of wire together up to where the wrist will be located with my thinner round wrapping wire. And I wrap as tightly as I can. This holds it on about as well as you're ever going to need it to, unless your hand is holding something heavy or, or something like that, which presents a whole bunch of other issues really, and you should probably at that point have an external armature. To secure the new wire and bond it all together as best as I can, I just use the same clay that I sculpt with and pack it on around the wire. This will prevent cracks in the clay in the future and it's also another layer of security. I let the clay dry out a little bit before beginning to sculpt the contours of the arm on the fresh armature. I'll also wrap each individual finger with the thin wrapping wire. If you don't do this, the clay tends to slide off. Then once it's all ready, I position each wire to represent a finger. I'll sculpt the hand and once I'm confident with the placement and size of my hand, I'll cut down the length of the wire down. I like to keep extra length of wire until I've sculpted the hand and perhaps the first digits of the fingers so that I don't cut the wire down too short and have to add wire later. Hands are notoriously difficult to manage in water-based clay and I really don't like sculpting them separately out of oil-based clay and so wrapping wire is really really necessary. The hands seem to always be too wet or, or too dry and you have a very short window where the clay is perfect in which to sculpt the hands and the fingers. Of course you can spray them again but then they'll become really wet and soaked with water and you have to wait until they dry enough to sculpt on again with any control that is. Thank you for watching and thank you to my patrons for supporting me. If you haven't already check out my Patreon page if you'd like to learn how I sculpt. There's a link in the description below. Follow me on my various social media platforms to see some behind the scenes photos. And if you liked the video hit the like button and the red subscribe button for more. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.